hello amazing people welcome back to my channel trust you all are good and keeping safe it's been a minute today i will be showing you how to use the InShot edited app to edit your videos you can use this app to edit your youtube videos your instagram videos your tiktok videos and lots more so let's get right into it stay tuned the InShot editing app can be downloaded from google play store or the apple app store click on the InShot icon to open the app on the home screen you have the options to create new video photo or collage i'll be focusing on video editing today to create new video click on the video icon then select the clip you want to edit you will notice a tiny snip tool on the top right corner of the selected clip you can choose to trim your clip before importing it into the editing timeline and you can also do the trimming right on the editing timeline let me show you how to do that so this snip tool when you click on it you can adjust or trim your clip before importing it into the editing timeline but i don't need to do that so i'll just close it once you select the clip you want to edit click on the green tick button on the bottom right corner here and your video will be imported right into the editing timeline before you carry on with the editing it's advisable to remove the InShot watermark at the bottom here click on it and click on remove this ones because you're using the free version if you want to remove the watermark permanently you have to pay to do that but if you're using the free version of the app you click on remove this once and the watermark will disappear you have to do this anytime you're editing i will be starting with the first tool here which is the canvas the canvas is used for changing the frame ratio of your video clip there are different ratio options available for various platforms like instagram youtube tiktok apple and the rest of it the 16.9 ratio is for youtube the 9.16 is for tiktok and then other ones i'll be going with the 16 by 9 which is for youtube here you also have the zoom function you can either slide the bar here to the right to zoom in or slide it to the left to zoom out or you can pinch and hold zoom in and pinch on it to zoom out you can also select from the available presets you can move your clip to the left or select fit screen or full screen or move the clip to the right i'll be going with the full screen you can also change your background from here just click on background and you can choose from the available options ranging from color gradient pattern you can make your choice just play around with it this is how the gradient looks like they have different color options and then the pattern choose whatever you want or feel like using if you want more color options scroll all the way to the end of the screen and click on this rectangular color palette here you can switch from modern to classy or to morandi this morandi is usually not unlocked you have to watch and add to unlock it so i already did that and i'm going back to modern when you're done making your changes click on the tick button here to go back you can blow your background by choosing from the blow options here you have some options here to choose from you can also choose to add an image to your background by clicking on the image icon here and select any image you want to add i'll be going with this one and you can see the images right here so i can select the blow effect i want when you're done making the changes click on the tick button right here Please note that ads always pop up on the free version of the InShot app, so kindly ignore the ads showing on the screen. Next, if you want to add more clips or photos to your timeline, simply click on the red plus button on the bottom left corner here. There are two options to either add video or photo or add a blank screen. Click on video or photo, then tap on the clip or clips you want to add. Note that you can add more than one clip. If you want to add a photo or photos, click on photo. Select the image or images you would like to add. 
or you click on all to view all media then select what you want click on the green check button on the bottom right and your image is added to the timeline next if you want to add music to your video or add sound effects or record a voiceover simply click on the music icon here you have the options to either add tracks effects or record a voiceover click on tracks right here you have options to select from you can either choose from the future tracks that comes with the app or if you have a downloaded song on your phone you can choose from itunes or my music on android or you choose effects so if you're choosing from the future tracks you click on a folder and a list of all the tracks in the folder will show tap on one you can listen to the music by clicking on the play button here and if you like the track you go ahead and click on the red download button on the right corner here and then you click on the use button note that if you're going to upload the video on youtube then you have to be careful not to use a copyrighted song and if you look closely you will see a note here that says to avoid copyright issues and support the artist we advise you to add the following credits blah 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 so be sure that the song you're selecting does not have copyright tap on the use button when you're done and then if you're selecting from itunes the same thing you tap on the track and click on the use button if you want to use effects you have lots of effects here and you can import effects from your phone or from anywhere so to select effect just click on a folder and the list of all the sound effects here will show and you can make your choice and then click on use and the track will be added to your timeline you can adjust or move the track to the point where you will like it to start playing from by tapping on the track then hold and drag it to the point where you want it to start playing from you can make adjustment on the track by double tapping on the track then use the bar on both sides of the track to make adjustments from either the beginning of the track you drag it in or from the end of the track you drag it in you can also control the volume from here you can increase or decrease the volume by sliding the volume control bar here in. you can choose to fade in the music by tapping fade in or fade out by tapping fade out or you can choose both click on the check button when you're done you can also add more music if you want just same process click on tracks and select whatever music or sound or effects that you want so you can add as many tracks as you want to and you can move it around move it to where you want it drag and hold and move it to where you want it to be when you're done click on tick if you want to delete any track from the timeline you either click on undo or go to music and you will see all the tracks you added select the one you want to delete and click on delete you click on tick the next function here is the sticker just click on sticker and you see all the animations the gifs and emojis social media likes social media icons and lots of it if you're editing for youtube you can find uh, the subscribe gif here tap on it and it will appear on the screen tap on the sticker and move it to where you want it to be on the clip and then click on the arrow on the right to resize it you can increase it and reduce it you can also flip the sticker by tapping on the flip button here the flip function kind of flips your image or sticker the other way around you can add transition effects by clicking on the pen edit tool right on the corner here here you can see all the transition effects the basic transition effects just play around with it and make your choice if you click on the in button the gif or the sticker will transition in and if you click on out the sticker will transition out the speed bar here is for you to adjust how long you want the transition to last so slide to the right to increase the time and slide to the left to reduce the time when you're done click on the check 
button. You can also add image overlay on your clip from here as well. Click on the image icon, then choose from camera roll. Select the image you want, pinch and drag to resize. Then press down on it and move it to where you want to position it. Okay, then resize and place it where you want it to be. You can resize it more if you want to. And then you can add transition to it by clicking on the pen tool. You can choose from loop. Just play around with the transition effects and choose the one you like. Use the speed bar to adjust the length of time the transition will last for. When you're done, you click on check. If you want to reposition the image, just tap on it and drag it to the point where you want it to be on the clip and leave it there. You see that? You can copy or duplicate the subscribe animation and place it on another part of your clip. Click on copy or click on duplicate and you have lots of it then. Move it around. To add text to your video, position the editing slider where you will want to add text. Then click on text and type your text. You can align your text by clicking those buttons on the left corner here. You can move your text to the left or centralize it or move it to the right. Click on the color palette wheel to change your text color. Here you have different color options to choose from. Make your choice. You can add border to your text. Click on border and play around with it and make your choice. You can increase or reduce the strength of the border by sliding the meter bar at the bottom here. You can increase or reduce it. And if you don't want the border, you click on this rectangular button with a red cancel sign. Click on it to take off the border. You can add shadow, move the meter to increase the strength. And if you don't want the shadow, you click on the cancel button. You can add label. You can also reduce the opacity of your text by sliding the meter to the left to reduce it or fade it out. And that's about that. You can change the font of your text by clicking on the letter A button here and you have all the fonts to choose from. Click on the wheel button on the right corner here and you can view all the available fonts. Make your choice. Click on the three dot transition icon to add a transition effect to your text. Increase the speed and time by sliding the bar here. Click on fade in to fade in your text and fade out to fade out your text. When you're done, click on the check button. Hold down on the text to reposition it to where you want it to be on the clip. Use the arrow tool to increase or reduce or you pinch on your screen and increase or reduce the text. If you want to add filter to your clip, select your video clip and click on the filter button. Here you have the effect, filter and adjust buttons. Click on effect and choose from the free ones available. You can increase the value of the effect or decrease it by sliding the value bar to the left to decrease it and to the right to increase the effect. If you don't like the available filter here, you click on original to remove the filter. Here you also have the beats effect. The zoom effect is the only free one here. You can increase or decrease the strength and the interval as well. There's also the distort filter and the style filter, celebrate filter. Just play around with the filters and make your choice. You have different options here. Play around with it as well and make your choice. Some of the filters are not free. So you go for the free ones or you pay to unlock more filters. If you choose a filter, you can adjust the strength of the filter with the slider. To make more adjustments or to color grade, click on the adjust button. Here you can adjust the brightness of your video. You can lower the brightness or increase the brightness here. You can also adjust the contrast. You can increase or decrease the contrast and you can adjust the warmth, add more warmth or reduce the want. You can tint your video. 
and click on saturation to give it a black and white feel or add more color pop <laughs> I don't need any of that you can also fade out your video if you don't want to go through all that process you can use the curve tool press and hold on the curve and drag it to make adjustments if you don't like what you're seeing you click on the circle arrow here to either reset all or reset the white balance so i'll click on reset all and everything goes back to normal click on the check button when you're done you can also adjust your highlights here add some highlights add some shadows if you want just play around with it and you can add some color and use the meter to adjust the colors same thing here you choose a color you adjust it with the meter and if you don't want any of this click the cancel button and everything goes back to normal you can add hue and you know, so many options here that you can sh choose from you can sharpen your image just click on the sharpen button and I'm going to sharpen the clip a little bit when I'm done I'll click on the double check button it gives you the option to apply filter to all the filter will be applied to the entire clip when you're done click on check and that's about that so next we have the pre-cut tool click on pre-cut and here you will find the trim cut and split tools click on the trim tool and use the bars showing on both sides of your clip to trim off any part of the footage that you don't need you can drag the bar from the beginning of the clip if that's where you want to trim off or from the end of the clip to trim off the ending part the cut tool cuts out some part of your video clip and then you can use the arrow bar here to include the parts you want extend it the split function can be used to split your video into two play your video to the point you want to split it and make sure to select the split function you will notice a white bar with a red dotted line in the center of the bar press and hold the bar and move it to the point where you want to split your clip and click on it here also you have the multi split function and what this does is it can split your video clip into various parts simply position the split bar where you would like to split then click on multi split and it will split the clip if you want to split again you move the bar to the point where you would like to split and click on multi split now you have the video split into different parts click on the check button when you're done you can undo the multi split by clicking on this circular arrow here and you'll be asked if you want to remove all the split marks you have added you go ahead and click ok if you want to rearrange the clips you know move things around what you do is long press on the timeline and you will see all the clips you have on the timeline then hold down on the clip you want to arrange and move it to the point where you want it to be and drop it there if you would like to add an image or another clip you select the point where you would like the image to be tap on the clip then click on the red plus button here and click on video or photo then select the image you want to add and click on the green check button and the image will be imported into your timeline the image will be positioned right in between the clip you selected if you look closely on your timeline you will see a pen editing tool at the corner of the image you added click on it here you can add transition to the image the split function right here on the timeline is the same as the previous one we used the delete function here deletes a selected clip or you can delete any of the effects you added or delete music or emojis or anything you want to delete from the timeline you select it and click on delete the volume control function here can be used to reduce the volume of any added audio or music if you want your entire video to have the same volume control 
then you click on apply to all we also have the speed function here this can be used to speed up your video if you want to fast forward your video this is where you do all of that you can slow down your video or fast forward it by moving it all the way to the right or slow it down by moving it all the way to the left click on check when you're done you can duplicate a clip by selecting the duplicate function and you will have the same clip twice you can rotate a selected clip or a particular part of your video with the rotate function you click on it to rotate you can use the flip function to change the direction of a clip tap on the clip and click on flip and it will change the position of your selected clip click on the undo arrow to reverse change you can use the freeze function to freeze a selected part of your video let's watch that next here is the reverse function and its job is to reverse your video and your video will play backwards click on settings to change your video resolution you click on video resolution here you have 720p and 1080p i usually go for 1080p because it gives my video better quality when you're done you go back when you're done click on the share icon at the top right corner here and click on save and wait for it to save thanks for watching see you in my next video peace out stay blessed